Hey everybody, it's Brian, and in this video I'll be showing you the Smart Link application by Gear4, which is available for free in the iTunes App Store. Now to use this application, you pretty much need to have a Smart Link compatible speaker system by Gear4. For this video, I have the House Party Smart. So after you install the application, it will obviously show up on your home screen. But what I did notice is that before I installed the application from the App Store, I went ahead and docks my iPhone into the speaker system and iOS automatically figured out that there's an application available for the accessory and it took me directly to the App Store and then it allowed me to download the application just like that so very nice that this has the ability to do that so for this video I'll be using an iPhone 4 and right after you dock it it will go ahead and automatically open up the SmartLink application once you have it installed so along the bottom of the app we have four tabs we have music clock radio and settings so let's go into settings really quick. At the top it allows you to change the music player style from steel to digital. So here's what digital looks like. I wish it had different color schemes available instead of just blue, maybe red or green or something like that. I'll leave it at steel for now. I'm not too sure what the allow remote option does. I've never really looked like looked it up. Um, i assuming it has something to do with the remote control, but even if I switch this to off, the remote control will still work. The next option allows you to add your alarm clocks. Then there's also an option to turn on the 24 hour clock if you'd like. And then you could also change the different clock display style. So right now we're using digital blue. We can switch it to flip clock. I don't really like this one. I like the digital versions better. Here's the pink and here is gray. I'll leave it at blue for now. And then the last couple of things at the bottom lets you go to Gear 4's website. Then it goes to the about information where it tells you the version of the app and it tells you a little bit about your hardware that you're using. So in this case, I am using the House Party speaker system by Gear 4. So at the music tab, this is pretty much the now playing interface for the app. It allows you to control your music, it lets you find a different song to play. It gives you a simple little visualizer where it basically just sort of gives you a Ken Burns effect through the album artwork, which is pretty cool. Although it would, would have been better if it would have gotten rid of the status bar at the top. And we have a nice little volume slider here. And the software works hand in hand with the hardware because as you can see, as I slide the slider at the bottom, the volume indicator on the speaker itself will change with it. So going into the clock tab, this takes you to the clock. Not really much interaction here, although you are able to make a new alarm. And the app does come with some sound effects. So there are some of those. If you swipe down on your screen, you'll be able to sort of bring the brightness down of the clock area itself. And then if you swipe, swipe up, it will bring it back up. So the third tab we have is radio. And if you're using a Gear 4 speaker system that has a built-in FM radio, you'll be able to use it through the app. So tapping on the tune button will automatically tune, and it will go through various FM radio frequencies to figure out which ones offer the best signal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And there it goes, it just tuned through everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume up a little bit. So to switch between the preset applications, you could just use this dial here to switch between them. Tapping on the edit button will allow you to change some of the presets that it automatically tuned for you. And tapping on one will automatically allow you to change the name of it. Like so. And then you could also drag on the right side and you could change the menu order of the radio station if you'd like. And that is pretty much the radio uh, application. And if you noticed, um, I'm not too sure if you saw it, but it automatically pulled in the name of the song that the radio station was currently playing. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds before it does so, but it's pretty cool that it has the ability to do that. Um, I don't even, I don't remember which radio station it was that it picked it up from. So I'm going to 
leave it on this one for a few seconds and see if it picks it up. So on 93.1 FM, you can see that it properly brought in the name of the song, Keep Your Head Up by somebody. So the song name is Keep Your Head Up Andy by Grammar. Grammar, I guess. I've never heard of that person. But anyway, it's nice that this app has the ability to do that. So that is a quick look at the Gear 4 smart link application for ios once again it's for avail available for free in the itunes app store and you do need a smart link compatible speaker system also by gear 4 to be able to use this application so thanks a lot for watching if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can leave them down below in the comments area but that's it so once again thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you all very soon